What gives Teresa Judas the impression that she can fool millions of fans of Real Housewives of New Jersey participating in clickbait stories? Seemed innocuous enough when the original poster first started, however, it has dominated her social media over time. Fans are now unhappy with Brab, who was formerly popular, as a result of this, Choice of Job Trey isn't the first real Housewives actress to participate in this movie farce, but fans have had enough of her obviously attempted to make a livelihood off of it. The worst thing is that Teresa doesn't seem to realize how damaging her lies to the public are. I believe the trust may just be lost, Teresa, acting as though her ex-husband Joe Judy had suffered a catastrophic event seems heartless. In light of everything that is going on in the world, Trey told his followers to pray for Joe in a social media message a little more than a week ago after the man was deported and separated from his family followers were immediately alarmed Juicy Joe's profile, however, led to the conclusion that the father of four was doing well at home in the Bahamas, he was really tanning. While the Jim Joe mentioned that he had just fallen a bit, but he was okay Teresa, may finally be leaving the Real Housewives of New Jersey, according to a post she made on Facebook that was clickbait. But faithful followers were duped once more. Her four girls were really out to supper. When she posted a picture of them only her oldest daughter, Jejude, who was in law school, was taking a break, so why does Teresa, who is already somewhat theatrical, feel the need to go into further detail about her life in 2020. When the global epidemic was at its worst, Teresa had the audacity to advertise websites that sold fake designer clothing fans, didn't want to join in on the pranks, just because the Real Housewives of New Jersey actress was wearing fushi. It seems that the table-flipping diva had no qualms about lying about the item's quality. Trey has been repeatedly mocked for applying a double standard and dubbed a hypocrite, she attempted to promote the company Gate, which has taken hundreds of complaints for selling fake goods in her Instagram stories. Teresa enlisted her daughter to assist her in selling bags on TikTok Live. Earlier this week, purses were flung around and spread out across the entire film. There was a B absolutely no designer vibe to it as though she were an auctioneer at Saab Dio, was reciting off a card but at least there would be an authenticator at the renowned auction house. Once more, this is being done by several reality TV celebrities ticked. Compensates them for their time through an odd 24-hour QVC style show. But the whole thing feels awkward while some fans may adore their own fear in. The majority of us only like to see our favorite performer in their true form. For my part, I'm sick and weary of being sold puffery for a few dollars there are enough connections for fans to find articles that state Margaret Josephs, the leader of Lewis's haters the bag. Hawking didn't help Teresa's reputation. With admirers and her life has started to resemble an SNL skit, I praise them for keeping us amused and decked up in the best Hermans, and I admit that they tried to market their Lewis viewing, but enough is enough Teresa has gone too far with her hustling with the phony tales phony designs and phony prizes, in which she says get rich and level up in this economy. She is bad-mouthing her fans. They never sold anything worth its weight, and gold or the product they said it was thus Trey is now the snake oil salesperson you avoid you.